Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. We appreciate we you being here do. with us on this journey. And we have a burning question to ask y'all. <laughs> have you ever been to a hootenanny? A hootin' what? <laughs> I know, a, a hootenanny. hootenanny. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, stick around. Stick around. And we will talk about a hootenanny. Yes. But first, we're gonna talk about a campground review. Yeah, so these are our big rig friendly campground reviews. This is a whole series that we have on our YouTube channel because we're a pretty big rig. We're 44 feet, we're a fifth wheel toy hauler, and we have a 22 foot truck. So together with 66 feet, this is not a small undertaking. And so a lot of parks will say, well, gee, you know what? They might even have it splashed on their sign. As this one did. Yes, big rig friendly. If you go and to their website, it says big rig friendly yeah and and when so we you were get like there we were like hey we've hit pay dirt with yeah this yeah pay, hit pay dirt hey. you know and and when you get there there's just a few considerations and we'll talk about the ones that we specifically uh think about when we give it a thumbs up sideways thumb or a thumbs down in terms of big rig friendly now here's the other thing we might have liked our stay there but that still doesn't make it a big rig friendly park, that is right? true. It you could know, be a beautiful park. It could we could have had all kinds of fun while we were there. Yeah. But that still doesn't make it big rig friendly. Yeah. And in 2022, actually, this was la was it last year we started the criteria of Yeah, was, we refined our criteria. Yeah, we refined bit. our criteria. So it wasn't just random thumbs up, thumbs down. We actually look at three different things to determine is it big rig friendly. We'll talk about those as we get into it. All right. So the name of this RV park is the Crater Lake RV Park and this is in a town called Prospect, Oregon. Um, in terms of, oh actually and in, in terms of Prospect, Oregon, in terms of how we got there, you found this and we put it in our RV trip. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We use RV Trip Wizard um, to route our, um, our, um, our travels and we've loved it. We've used it from the beginning of our travels yeah. and uh, yeah, so I put together a route for um, last year and found this park and again because it said big rig friendly we thought well we had to go <laughs> um, and you know we also if, if you haven't followed the channel or you're not aware we, we like to go to the national parks so a lot of how I put the routes together are kind of designed around national parks and then we fill in the gaps so for this one we were trying to get to a national park and we'll talk about that in just a minute but yeah, yeah but we do use RV Trip Wizard and we have a promo code. We do, yeah. We are affiliates with uh, RV Life, yes. which uh, these folks are the makers of RV Trip Wizard. And so we'll put that promo code down yep. there. We'll also put it in the description. Yep. Yeah, so we're pretty excited about that new partnership. So nearby attractions to the Crater Lake RV Park. Uh, Crater Lake. Crater Lake. <laughs> National Park. Yes. yes. And what a beautiful place that is. Mm. Um, what do I have here? Lakes, Falls, Parks, Medford, Shady Cove, Bend, Oregon, and Sisters. Yeah, These lots, are all, yeah, yeah, lots of places that are, you know, within thirty to maybe two hours, yeah. thirty minutes to two hours yeah. um, away. So Shady Cove is about thirty minutes. I think Bend and Sisters were, I don't know, maybe about maybe closer to two hours. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, depending on how long you're staying, you know, you can get you can get to one to many of these areas and, and really enjoy your stay here. Uh, we were there in July of 2022. Um, uh, hookups, full hookups. Now, this is one of those categories where we determine whether it's big rig friendly or not. And if you stay to the end of the video, you'll see if we give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down on that. Uh, they did have full hookups, a 50 amp service. Um, it was hot in July. And so a lot of the rigs that were in there, there was a bunch of class A's in there. There were a few, you know, uh, fifth wheels that, you know, were yeah, probably about large, the size yeah, of ours. Large, large fifth wheels. Um, mm -hmm. And so everybody's running their AC uh, because it is hot. Yeah, it was July, like mm -hmm. you said. So it yeah. was warm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you're running your AC. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, they had just upgraded the power here, the, the power grid in the park, but there were still some issues with that. And so we had the power bouncing, you know, because people had, you know, they were trying to run their yeah, ACs. Yeah, I think it, uh, yeah, I remember it a couple of times. Um, it did, it, we did lose some power there. So yeah. um, I think they, they said that it might not even be strong enough. <laughs> 
I thought they said even with the upgrade, there yeah. were still some challenges. Still some challenges, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and they're working on all these things, yeah. I believe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The next area is the concrete or gravel, you know, the site itself. And this was kind of a mix of gravel and asphalt. Mm -hmm. You know, riding through the park, I think you're riding on asphalt, but then when you pull into your spot, um, you know, part of that could be gravel, part of that could have been asphalt. I'm trying to remember. I thought, like, the, the area where the picnic bench was, I don't remember if that was asphalt. I think that was gravel. Oh, okay. I, I think so. Okay. Um, yep. yep. Yeah. And access and road issues. So we came off of, I guess it would be State Route 62, maybe? I, th I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's a little bit of a funny thing with that. Um, so this is right off the road which is which is nice but did mm -hmm. 62 split somewhere and we didn't notice that on the map so we actually ended up going through the national park which we did not realize yeah, yeah. we didn't realize that so at the time we were a little freaked out, freaked out because we didn't know if we were going to pull up to like an entrance gate <laughs> like you normally would pull up to at, at, at the at national an RV park. park yeah and we'd have this big gigantic rig we would you know turn and, around. And have to, oh. so yeah we were a little a little nervous about that situation yeah thankfully there was no problem yeah there was no you problem know, it, with it this dumped us out on the road that we would, would were trying to get to anyway yeah and the way that this park goes you know when you're riding along 62 there's another road in the direction we were heading you would turn right go down that road and the entrance was that way but it was hard to know because we're driving and it says crater lake national park like you are entering the park yeah. so we were like uh-oh so i started scrambling around looking for the map <laughs> that's when i realized that 62 split so that's something to look out for as you're um as you're going to this park um but in terms of turning off the road it wasn't a problem turning off the road and getting in there as far as a tight turn or anything like that it wasn't <laughs> that you recall <laughs> Not really. Um, not really. Yeah. I mean, the driveway was the driveway was adequate. Yeah, it was adequate. It was yeah. adequate. Yeah. You're riding down a really beautiful road, though. It's a. It was a two lane. Oh yeah, yeah. The it trees was, are the literally trees like right at the end right, of the road. It's a completely tree lined for kind of forest on either side. Yeah. It's a beautiful. Yeah. Um, it, I mean, it was just beautiful. Yeah. And the people in Oregon might drive a little fast on this road, <laughs> and so as we were slowing down to turn because that's what one does. Um, we had we heard some honking in the back, and then the <laughs> might have been the bird. Might have got flipped the bird, and we were like, "Wow, it's the yeah. California plates." Folks. Yeah, I think it's the California the plates. Folks in Oregon are not they loving those California have, plates. They yeah, they weren't too friendly. No. Yeah, um, lot spacing. That's the one of the other categories that we look for. So the only oh. thing I was going to say about the access, though, oh, yeah, and this huh? may tie into the lot spacing. Oh, sure, is yeah. When we pulled in, yes. you know, it's it's a circular kind of park yes right so and you're escorted to your spot which is very nice which is nice but the reason they're escorting you is because it's tight it's super tight but remember we said it was big rig friendly <laughs> all over the side <laughs> uh, all, all, right so yeah so it's really kind of tight you have to you know really pay attention as you're going through because it's a lot of trees beautiful park again but it is a bit tight so yeah. so we did have to come around um you know that's kind of that circle yeah and then we had a back end i don't know if we were going to talk about that here yeah we or, are. Or, okay. yeah yeah and <clears throat> we have photos of this too and and a, a little bit of video clip here of pulling in <laughs> big rig friendly the sites themselves are very long they're long you might have like a 90 foot site yeah. or something like that you know that's 30 feet longer than our truck and our camper yep. so that you know i could see them saying well gee it's a long site but it's a narrow site 
and it's very tight getting through the park to get to that site. Yeah. So that's the challenge with that is that it's it's a very uh, uh, it's a it's a tough park to navigate. It really and is. Had, and we had a challenge backing in. Yes, we, we did. We, the guy that escorted us, very nice. The, the folks there were very nice. We'll very talk about nice that, folks, you know, yes. Um, but he he escorted us to the spot. He was <laughs> he was even kind of like, well, you can either do it your way or you can do it my way. And if yeah. you do it my way, we'll, we'll get, get in, in there. We'll get in there. Yeah. And we got in there. So we got in there. We it did. took us a minute. But, but it took us there. a minute, and yeah. we were super, super close to a tree. Yeah, we'll show I that, folks. You have yeah. that picture, right? We'll show that photo. Uh, and yeah. then part of the challenge too is because it's the you know it's a narrow kind of circular you know park. There was not a lot of width for me to maneuver the truck in front of because remember there was the rocks in the front and they were yeah. trying to move these big kind of boulders. Boulders. <laughs> and um, you know, so so there was so it was tricky kind of backing in. Yeah. Um. Anyway, we got in there. It yeah. is super long. Yeah. It's just getting in. Can was be a not challenge. Easy. It wasn't yes. easy, and it wasn't easy again from a fifth wheel perspective. I think exactly. Um, but anyway, and that, thank you for bringing that up because that's really the point of doing these videos too. Because you know, big rig friendly is not just about a class A, and class A's back in differently than fifth wheels do because the pivot points and the turning points and all that are very different on these two you know scenarios and so since we're a fifth wheel we're giving you the fifth wheel perspective yes yeah um number nine is wi-fi cell service no no <laughs> yeah. yeah so just the whole area doesn't really have any i mean when you ride through there the first question you're going to ask is where am i going to get my internet because there's so many trees and yeah. it's beautiful um, but there isn't the the carriers in the area are pretty weak. I think T-Mobile might have had a little teeny little bit of of action there, but Verizon and, and AT&T right. were like. And because Boo. we're Verizon, um, we had even driving around, um, you know, driving around issues. Prospect. Yeah. We didn't have even any cell service, so yeah. you know, because we even thought, well, what if we had the need for an emergency to service or yeah. to make a call, yeah. we, we wouldn't really have had any service to do that. But yeah. anyway, the campground, you know, so that problem persisted at the campground. Yeah. But thankfully. Now the campground had Wi-Fi. They had really yeah. good Wi-Fi. And, and they had just upgraded that too. Um, we got a chance to meet uh, Pam, the owner, and she said that she had recently upgraded the, the Wi-Fi and that made a huge difference. There was one particular day, remember that one day? It was, only, it was the only reason we could stay there. That was the only, yeah. Because we were working. We are working and you know, again, we usually stay a month someplace, a month, maybe five weeks, six weeks, depending on the and scenario. I think we stayed here three weeks yeah. and we would have had to leave. We would have had to leave, if yeah. We couldn't, if they hadn't had really good Wi-Fi yeah. there. They did. And there was one particular day, and it was so funny because the the campground Wi-Fi went down, and so you saw all the people that were working were all freaked out because they were standing at running to the office at the office because you couldn't call because you didn't have cell service. <laughs> and then there was a guy that had a Starlink, and his Starlink wasn't working either, so he was out there in the office. And too, the Starlink, so. I think, didn't work because there were just too many trees. It's a ton of trees. You couldn't really find an opening to yeah. use the Starlink. So yeah. anyway, it, it's it was pretty it, funny. It, they have good wi They really do have a good really Wi-Fi. But it, it is the only thing really available. Yeah, it is. Yeah. The next category is laundry facilities and showers. They do not have laundry there, but they did have showers. And the, I have open here in my notes. And I, I think what I mean by that is like when you go into the showers, it's like um, it's not like you're going into your own room. You know, you're just in stalls, and that's how uh, the shower situation is. I have a, I'll, I'll put a photo here for that. Um, the next category are the amenities of the park. So Wi-Fi was definitely an amenity of the yes. park. Um, they have these really, so beautiful trees. This really was, we have a picture of your, <laughs> I took a picture of your, your desk, mm -hmm. and it says, her view from her corner office. Because mm -hmm. it's just, it really was a beautiful, yeah. beautiful trees. and. All now, Pochette sure has this nice setup here. She's got a corner office this week that's got an amazing view. That's what happens when you're out here at these lovely campgrounds in the woods. All of that. There's some hiking paths around, just literally right at the edge of the park. You can go right into a hiking path. There was a hidden lake. Um, uh, you had picnic tables at your site, fire pits. Uh, the hosts were just really great and helpful. 
close to Becky's pie shop. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you could get propane there, yeah. and I think they also had like you know if you were interested in DVD rentals. Yes, they the have office, that too. Yeah, you know, so. yeah. So and then of course they had the hootenanny. Uh, yeah. So let's There's talk about that hootenanny. hootenanny for but a there bit. was no pool. Yeah, no pool, no, pool, no, jacuzzi. no jacuzzi. Yeah, but there was no play area. Well, there was no play area. I don't remember even a yeah. playground. No, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, and so the hoot nanny was. Um, I think she actually even called it that. I might even I have a picture did. on the sign. There, it's hilarious. <laughs> and so I was like, "Am I really getting ready to go to a hoot nanny? <laughs> Who am I?" <laughs> and so, between May and September, I think it's every. It was either Friday or Saturday yeah. night. The owner of the park, Pam, she hosts this. It's musical. There's a musical selection. Mm -hmm. It's a barbecue. It's a yeah. s'mores. And she hosts all this. It's very, very you nice. You just come over and roast some hot dogs yeah. and have some s'mores. And, yeah. and then they play music and then yeah. it's like a sing-along. Yeah. It, will, it was really quite nice. Stella for herself, dapper and right, she held and died. Handsome man seduced the Jack and Jack, go tell them, Jack. Watch your back, you're under attack. The husbands are coming, the better start running the better. Nobody likes the Jack the Lust. Jack the Lust, Jack the Lust. Nobody likes the Jack the Lust. Nice. And if you watched our other video from um, Juniper's, RV Park, the woman that we met there, B. Gale, she actually was the person who was the musical selection for the night that we went to the Hootenanny. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Hi, B. Gale. I just want to say <laughs> hi to her. <laughs> All right. The next area is pet friendly. Dogs well behaved is my note here. Yes. Um, they didn't have any cans or bags or anything like no. that around, but it was um, definitely a, I don't no. know how many. Yeah, mean, just regular so. trash just, cans. No, regular, like, doggy cans. cans. Right. Yeah. Um, good management. And they um, only had the trash week and the trash in, in the one location at the front of the RV park. That's right. Yes, that's true. And some RV parks do this. Yeah. You know, they just have the, the uh, instead of having, you know, dumpsters throughout the park, they have it just at the front of the park so that they can kind of control, you know, where trash is dumped. And the, 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 I can't even imagine if a dump truck or a trash truck could even get into the park <laughs> other right. than the front there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Good management. Yes. Um, we have some names here. Carrie, Sig. Oh, Carrie was the guy that helped us park. Yes. Sig, Terry, Bob, all of them were super, super helpful. Uh, Pam is the owner. Uh, she was very present and around the park, yeah, walking her dog. Yeah, she'd be out walking her park because she lived there. Yeah, she, she lived, lived in there. A, yeah. In a house. That was right at the front that of the park. That was right at the front of the park. So. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so you'd she would see her often. You would see her often. Very friendly folks. Very helpful. Um, anything else you want to say about the management or no. that experience? No, I just think, I they think were... it was pretty easy to book and. You know, I don't think yep. there was any issues with that. Yep. Um, grocery store nearby. There was no instant card. I will tell you that. Um, Prospect had like a little, you know, convenience store, like a 7-Eleven type of store. And there was a few staples in there. And you could probably get a potato and maybe a, a, a lime there. <laughs> but it, they didn't have a whole lot of produce. In Shady Cove, which was 30 minutes away, they had more. Yeah, they had a real, they had a regular grocery store there. Yeah, so. some really good ground beef there, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, you mentioned Medford before. Um, we actually went into Medford. And, yep. Yeah, and so that was about an hour away. But there they had, in Shady Cove, there was an Ace Hardware. Right. Yeah. And, and if I, you wanted more stuff, Medf Medford, Medford was, uh, you know, I forget what the population was, but it was a normal, you know, kind of a larger, big town, yeah. bigger city. Yeah. Because um, we actually got the truck service there, mm -hmm. you know, time for an oil change, whatever. So we had that and haircuts and I don't know, you know, but there was just a lot more to pick from in Medford. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's, that was kind of the, isn't that kind of the biggest, the closest place that's that big was Medford? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Mail service and delivery. Um, yeah, we didn't have any problem with that. They delivered directly to the park, and they would bring it directly to your coach, which mm -hmm. was very nice. That was nice. That's very nice, yeah. Top three and bottom three. Uh, you know, there was one thing I meant to mention, and I forgot to mention it in the amenities, was the photography tour, the self-guided photography tour we did in Crater Lake. Oh. I forgot oh, what it was called. Yeah. And I'll have to look up the name. Yeah. But I found this company that... Um, you 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 uh, you know they do these tours and what they do is they tell you the places to go so they basically give you an itinerary and tell you the 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 places to go within a location and um, it's like a virtual tour right sort of well you really do it yeah um, you just don't have a guide 
Yeah. So it's self-guided. Oh, I see. Um, okay, yeah. So, I that. so, that so we, cool. so we did. A, so I found one that was was um, in in the, in Crater Lake um, National Park. So that was actually fun because yeah. we did we we basically kind of followed that around the park so that I can you know find the locations that they were suggesting for photograph for for photography. Yeah. So that was actually kind of fun. That was great because it was like go to this spot. You know, and hike to this park point. here, park hike here. there. Yeah, and told yeah. you exactly where to go and what to do, and kind of how to do that. So, anyway, I wanted to mention that. I'll put the name of that the. I'll really find the name of the company, and yeah. I'll include that because I think they do tours. I'll, I'm not sure if they're just in Oregon or if they go outside of Oregon, but I'll put that in case anybody's interested. Yeah, I thought that was. I really enjoyed that because yeah. you know what was nice about that because sometimes she'll go on photography tours and it's her and other photographers and I don't go. You know, and so this time I got I me mean, my photography is on my phone here but you know sometimes I like to go too so that was really uh, that was fun so top three bottom three so top three I think it were were the trees at, at the park I mean it provided a ton of shade it was really pretty um, just really just a nice nice looking park um, second I think was the proximity to Crater Lake um, National Park um, about 40 minutes away yeah um, so for a big rig um, that's not so bad because I mean we're not going to be camping inside the National Park so no. <laughs> so 40 minutes away wasn't bad because we went a couple of times to the park yeah we um, did we did a hike and, and yeah we did yeah. two or three times I think we went and then last um, was um, well we were there at a time where there was no wind yeah <laughs> so um, I don't know you know if, you know that just was nice for just for hanging out I guess yeah and I, we must have put this here because I think I wherever we came from before that must have had some wind or something because yeah I don't, we just had been so whipped around and wind we were over I mean I'd say another top would be the campground Wi-Fi <laughs> for sure because that, <laughs> that, saved that us. really did save us yeah um, so yeah anyway but bottom um, again it's I, I think they are big rig friendly from a lengthwise but from an, uh, I think a space and and parking perspective, yeah, not, not easy, not really. Yeah. Um. So I'll put that in the bottom. Um. It's you not know, anything they it was really do anything nothing about, they could do. Just like they couldn't do anything about the wind, but um, yeah. th they can't do anything about the heat. Yeah. So we have that in kind of our bottom three. It was it was warm. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, it was warm when we were there. Yeah. Um, and then last was um. You know, there's just not a lot to do. Um, Prospect, the town of Prospect, um, which is literally right there. It's you know five minutes across the street. Um, there's like a little, you know, market like you talked about, mm -hmm. and then a couple of restaurants. Actually, a good pizza. The pizza was great. Pizza was good. At this one <laughs> but yeah, there's just not a lot to do in the area. So if you are looking for lots to do, um, you know, you might not enjoy this location. It's a lot more, um, I would say, remote. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's pretty. But, remote. Um, but still, you know, it's beautiful. Still be beautiful, yeah. beautiful part of Oregon. Yeah, and you know, even though you know there's not a lot around, we we actually did have a few special moments. I skipped right by the special moments part. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, that's what I should have said, talked about with photography. Oh, that's what I was yeah. Like, wait a minute, why was uh, we skipped past that? Okay, so yeah. yeah, let's talk about that. Special moments. So we uh, we got a chance to see Crater Lake. If you haven't seen that national park, and if you haven't seen that lake, that is spectacular. Yeah. And we did a hike there. We'll put some photos of that. We hiked through a flower field there, which yep. was lovely. You got chewed up by mosquitoes. Yes, that wasn't lovely. No, that wasn't <laughs> lovely. <laughs> we actually uh, spent the weekend in Bend, um, and well, I forgot why we went there. I mean, I know we went to go. We had lunch with uh, Danita and, and Sam. Um, that was very fun. We'll put some pictures of that. Yeah. Your college buddy. Yeah. And then and we then went we to sisters we went and we sisters hung out with and Pam and Ron. We saw Pam and Ron, who, who um, short quick story was that was those were the owners of our home that we uh, sold in San Diego. So they had owned the house before us. Yeah, and, and we bought it from them. And we bought and it from then, them. Yeah, and we've stayed in touch with them. Yes, and they've since moved to Oregon to sisters. Yeah, to sisters. So yeah. Um, so yeah, we got to see them, and that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then we had lunch with George and Colleen. That's Remember? right. And what That's city right. was that? Where was that? We, I forgot. And then we saw that weird octopus thing. Too. Too, after that yeah, lunch with them, uh, I forget. <laughs> it was a carving of a uh, octopus. Very cool. We'll put yeah, photos of that. To, uh, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, where we went, but I can we can look I it up. I can't remember why we were in Bend over the night though. That was oh, didn't we go into Bend to go to the to see the um? Yeah, I thought we went into Bend to see the 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 host. Mm -mm. That wasn't for that. Not not at that time because oh. it was cold. Remember? It was cold. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. Well, I can't remember that. And what is that word right there? I can't see this. <laughs> Neither one of us have well, our glasses have... on. You wrote that. <laughs> well, I can't see what that says. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know. It's not important. <laughs> I think we've covered all the points. We've covered it all. So, yes. Uh, let's see. Let me just see here. Oh, so one of the things that um, I said earlier is that the, the rating that we do for Big Rig Friendly is the hookup situation, road access and issues, and lot spacing. Those are the the um, the basically the three criteria that for us you know, mean it's big rig friendly, you know, does the power stay on? Can we get into the spot? <laughs> and is it easy to get into, you know, off the road? Right. Um, so that's our criteria for this. And um, the 50 amp service, we had some issues with that. And, and getting into the spot was was just really very, very tough. And so, yeah, yeah. I think I think since we only have what three criteria, mm -hmm. basically, if one of them is, is not does not fit, it's a sideways thumb, and if it's two out of three that are that don't fit, then we give it a thumbs down. Yeah. So this so one, I think, in this case, we gotta it, give it ends up a being down. a thumbs down, even though we loved this. We we did love the park. We had a lovely time. Um, and had a great time while we were yeah. there, and we certainly wouldn't tell you not to go. Would never tell you not to go. Just be prepared. Just be prepared that when you come into that park, it is super. Super duper tight. A bit tight, yeah. And, yeah. and you do have to back into pretty much all the spots. Mm -hmm. um, so, just something, just, to know. just something to be aware of. Yep. Yep. Um, I think. I that think that covers, covers it. everything. I we, think did that covers it. we did the hoot nanny. We did the hoot nanny. You should go for the hoot nanny. <laughs> yeah, go for the hoot nanny. <laughs> so, have you ever been to this park? This is the Crater Lake RV Park. And if you did, drop a comment below. Or if you're planning to go to it, or if you're looking for a park in the area, we've had some comments from some people lately on one of our other videos saying, "Hey, I'm planning to go to that area. Yeah. Thanks for the video." For the, yeah. So, yeah, if you're planning to go, or if you've been there, give us your let us know. Yeah, let us know your let story. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Uh, if you if you if you found anything helpful in this review, give us a thumbs up. This really helps our channel to grow. It helps the YouTube algorithm know that you know what we got out here matters to somebody. So thank you for that. Thank you for your subscribe. Thank you for your share. Thank you for being a part of our tribe. And we'll see you. see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Wow, wow, wow.